Alright guys, so I get asked all the time, how do you order a keto coffee at Starbucks? So we're here at Starbucks, so go and show the uh, So we're here at Starbucks right now, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to walk up to the barista and how to order a keto coffee, so let's go. First thing you want to do is you don't want to get nervous when you go up to the barista because I know it's kind of awkward to ask for a kid of coffee. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, can I get a uh, Americana with a splash of heavy whipping cream? Okay, I'm going to get a with a splash of heavy whipping cream. And then, I know this sounds weird, but can I get like two cherry go butters um, mixed in? And then, this is optional guys, you can get a sugar free sweetener if you want, if you want to. I'm not, um, and that's going to be it. That's how you know you got a good barista, and that's how you know you come in Starbucks too much. So, if you guys that's obviously so funny. saw it, I said Goody Beats on my coffee. Uh, but that's how you order a keto coffee, guys. It's pretty simple. Most baristas at uh, Starbucks, or not even at Starbucks, you can go to any place. They're gonna, they're most likely gonna be nice. And um, so, I know it's a little weird when you ask for butter, but most uh, coffee shops have butter because you know a lot of these coffee shops have bagels and whatnot. So, just ask for butter, heavy whipping cream. An Americano coffee, that's how you do it. You mix it all up and you're good to go. So so that's how you order a keto coffee at Starbucks. Cheers. All right guys, so now that I showed you how to order a keto coffee from Starbucks, I'm gonna teach you how to make a quick keto coffee at home. All you need is Kerrygold butter, coconut oil, heavy whipping cream, obviously coffee, and like I said earlier guys, you can use your favorite sweetener. I use this one because uh, supposedly this one does not spike your insulin. And optional, I don't have any on me, but you can use MCT oil. Uh, my MCT oil is at work, so I didn't bring it here at home, so I wish I had that. I would use that as well for my keto homemade coffee. So the difference is guys, you're gonna wanna use a blender when you make that. In my opinion, I definitely prefer making keto coffee at home. I think it tastes so much better than when you get it at Starbucks because at Starbucks they don't mix the butter and really that's what like kind of makes a keto coffee for me. When you do the keto coffee the right way and you make it in a blender, it's real foamy, it's real fluffy, like that's the way I like the keto coffee and it just tastes so much better than them just sticking uh, the butter in the hot coffee and kind of just letting it melt. <laughs> Delicious. All right, so I showed you how to order a keto coffee from Starbucks. I showed you how to properly make a keto coffee homemade, but there's one more way you can make a keto coffee. All you need is, obviously, one cup of coffee and one scoop of keto meal. So the first thing you want to do is put the coffee in the blender. And next, all you need is one scoop of keto meal. So, one thing about keto meal, guys, is really fluffy. I mean, that's one thing if you guys haven't tried it or if you haven't got yours yet, you'll soon find out it is really, really fluffy. So as you can see right now, real powdery, but here you go. One scoop, looks just like so. You want to put it in the blender. Boom. Here you go guys, that is your third way to make a proper keto coffee. As you can see, very keto friendly, very easy to do. Uh, if you had to ask me which way I prefer the best, is it Starbucks, is it your homemade keto coffee, or is it keto milk keto coffee? 
keto milk, keto coffee, keto milk coffee, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, I definitely prefer the homemade. When you add in the MCT oil, the coconut oil, the butter, the heavy whipping cream, maybe a little bit of Splenda. Uh, I just, I mean, I've always made it that way, so I kind of prefer it that way. I don't know, call me old school, whatever. But this way is definitely my second best. I, my third best would be the the Starbucks way. I don't like that Starbucks doesn't blend uh, the butter, but hey, you can't blame them. I mean, they're nice enough to go ahead and put the carry go butter in your coffee, so can't be mad about that. But here it is. See how it tastes. Damn, that's really good, guys. For all you who have ordered the keto meal, I definitely recommend you try the keto coffee. It tastes really good. And I wish you guys could see that. Let's see. See how foamy that is? I mean, that's just perfect. Uh, for someone like me who really enjoys lattes and you can't really have lattes on the keto diet unless you do like almond milk, but the almond milk at Starbucks is a little bit higher in carbs, so I don't ever do it. This way is a really good alternative. All right, guys, so that's going to be it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. How to order your coffee from Starbucks, how to make your homemade, how to do a keto meal one. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, guys. It does help out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. And uh, I think that's going to be it, guys. As always, I love y'all. Peace.